Lessons from the Road, Episode 2, So Many Goddamn Roads. Hi, you're here with the one and only Renee, and today we're going to be talking about... There's so many goddamn roads. <laughs> Took a look down a westbound road, right away I made my choice. Held out to my big two-wheeler, I was tired of my own boys. Took a beat on the northern plains and just rolled that power on. So many goddamn roads. In total, in this trip, we traveled 13,000 kilometers. And the amount of roads that we traveled in is even crazier than that. From the Trans Canada Highway to the Sea to Sky Highway, the Group of Seven route, uh, the most remote dirt roads in all of Saskatchewan, and our favorite road with Petra. Squirrel Town in, Manito in Man Manitoulin. We have seen it all. However, the video today is not about any of those particular roads, but the so many goddamn roads. Let me explain. There's a guy who told us we can camp anywhere because there's so many goddamn roads. So. And he's right. He's right. He's right. <laughs> we found a good road. Uh, on our first day, we were on our way to Killarney Provincial Park. We were on this road in the middle of nowhere and realized that we had no gas. This is the type of uh, problems that you encountered at the beginning of your trip because you're not used to this type of lifestyle. Anyways, we realized that we couldn't go back to the last gas station because we didn't even have enough gas for that. And the GPS showed no gas stations nearby. By. So as we prayed for a miracle, mir miracle, miracle, uh, in the middle of the forest, I kid you not, was a gas station, a one pump gas station in the middle of the forest with the one man uh, who is responsible for the lesson of today, manning the station. There it was, the greatest man of our trip. Nah, okay, he wasn't the greatest, but he did save our life that one time. All right, dang, we did it. Super expensive gas in the middle of nowhere, but saved our, saved our life and our baby's life. <laughs> we solved our first problem of the trip. Now we had to face the second problem. We don't know where we're sleeping tonight. No idea. So. We have no idea. <laughs> we have no idea where we're sleeping, so. Where we were gonna sleep. We had planned two different places, but we were still not sure. The first night sleeping on the road, the first night boondocking is full of uncertainty. So? What? It's scary. You don't know if you're going to uh, get a ticket. You don't know if you're going to be safe. You don't know, I, am I going to be too hot? Is anything going to happen to the car? It is something to worry about. But uh, we, met a, we met a guy along the way in the gas station. His advice was, there's so many roads, just pick one. Yes, there's so many goddamn roads, just park <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> and uh, with Petra, we took the advice, we took our car, and we left. See, we thought that the, the problem was going to be that there wasn't enough roads, but turns out there are so many goddamn roads. Um, we decided to go on an adventure and we still had no clarity on where we were going to sleep. So we decided to ask the ladies that were manning the provincial uh, park. And we asked her and she said, you know, you could try the lighthouse, but again, I'm not sure anything can happen. So that was no help. As the sun was setting, we knew that we had to make a decision. So we just decided to go with our gut, decided to make a decision. We said, hey, a lighthouse sounds pretty good. So we just took our car and with the sun setting, we went to our lighthouse. Cheers, Cheers. we're boondocking. Cheers. Okay, anyways, <laughs> we've arrived. This is where we're gonna be sleeping for the night. Our car is right back there. That's our car and we're gonna be staying here for the night. What do you feel, what you, what's going on through your head right now? I'm excited, this is a really nice spot. And we'll be, we'll be having here coffee in the morning, right there. Maybe some dinner tonight. We'll see. The next morning, our morning looked like this. Why am I telling you this story and why is this the first lesson of the road? Well, 
Uh, the way I see it, in life we are often faced with endless amount of roads that lead to uh, so many different possibilities. We would love to spend as much time as possible admiring every single one of these roads. However, we often, in life, like many things, we are running against a setting sun. So we need to make a decision on the road that we're going to take. Um, when I graduated university, this was a problem. I didn't know what I wanted to do. Before going to university, I didn't know what I was going to do. I made some decisions. I've made it to the point today and I am happy with those decisions. What I come to tell you today is that a lot of times when you are faced with these roads, do not wait and just stare at all the roads and possibilities too scared to make a decision. Go with your gut. Trust your gut. Don't be afraid to ask for help like this guy at the gas station or like the person at the provincial park. At the end of the day, you have to be confident and go with that decision because most of the time you will be rewarded with a morning that looks like this. However, this is a lesson from the road that maybe is still not fully uh, developed for me yet because it's something that I'm just getting a good grip on, but I did want to share it with you guys. I'd be lying to you if I told you that every time you made a decision, your morning was going to look like this because a lot of the times we did get it wrong and our day looked a lot like this. So we're here defeated by the stupid island. Oh my God. What is happening today? However, even when we don't get the decision right, even when we're not fully satisfied with our decision, you can be happy and uh, happy with yourself because you did take some action within your life. And that is what's most important. You made something decisive. You took control of your destiny and you went on that road. Uh, so next time that you're faced with so many goddamn roads, you know what to do. Anyways, that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you're looking to find out what happened when we did not get those decision rights, you're going to have to wait for another lesson from the road. Bye, guys. Cheers.